Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how you can take Brussels sprout leaves and add some texture and good healthy vitamins into your breakfast or lunch. Let's go. So we have what was once this really beautiful Brussels sprout plant. It's been here for one year. Brussels sprouts take a very long time to mature. And um, it's unfortunately been eaten a lot by these little green worms and they've been they've been having lots of breakfasts and lunches on this plant so we're going to try to cut the best leaves here so this brussels sprout plant has been here for a while and has really fallen prey to a lot of worms which is just awful so if you see holes like this in your plants this is evidence that there have been worms munching away at your plant this plant is really ready to come down. It's it's uh, pretty hot here in Texas. Oh man, I found another worm. Oh, rats. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Okay, so we were able to salvage some of the best leaves from this plant. And this will be the last that we get from this plant because it is so old. It's over a year old and uh, just ready to come down. We were able to get a lot of Brussels sprouts this season, not just from this plant but from some other plants in the garden however we are in May and in Texas May is so hot so these guys do not do well um, in the sun they wilt and then they start to uh, they just start to deteriorate just like if you left vegetables on your counter in your kitchen for too long in a hot environment so let's go inside and cook these up and see how we do so the first thing we're gonna do just like anything from the garden we're gonna wash our leaves we do not use any kind of pesticides or bug killers or anything um, so you could technically eat this right out of the garden, uh, but you definitely want to be clean. Brussels sprouts are a really good source of vitamin C and vitamin A. And with me being pregnant, I'm trying to take in more vegetables and um, have more leafy greens and fibers in my diet. So there's two things that are gonna make our Brussels sprout recipe turn out extra awesome. Bacon, which just makes everything awesome, and onions. Okay, so for this recipe, we're using about 10 slices of bacon and one onion. We're also gonna be using some red peppers just to throw in some extra spice. Typically, we'll put fresh organic eggs with this, but since we're totally out, we're just gonna be sticking with a veggie, mostly veggie, and hugely bacon recipe today. So our baked Brussels sprout chips are out of the oven and we're gonna let them cool off a little. They look a little funky. Oh my God, what does it taste like? Salt. What? Salt. <laughs> that does not look good. So I'm really curious how this tastes. I'm really nervous, um, but you know, I grew this from seed, so I kind of want to know what it would taste like to eat it in the state, even though it's crazy weird <laughs> looking. Not at all what I was expecting to have today for um, lunch, brunch, breakfast, meal. Here we go. Um, it tastes like burnt paper. I definitely need something to take that taste out of my mouth. It's pretty awful. I am still trying to get the taste out of my mouth. It's not that great. In the final step, we have added our Brussels sprout leaves. We added these at the very end because the leaves will cook faster than the rest of the vegetables and the bacon in here. Um, our bacon turned out a little not so uh, as crisp as we would like, but you can still see we've got plenty of Brussels sprouts in here, lots of great veggies. And to top this off, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salsa. Okay, so now we're finally done and you might not be able to see much of the Brussels sprouts anymore because they cook down so much. So if you really, really want um, a good 
tasteful helping serving in your food. Number one, maybe don't add as much bacon. <laughs> Never. I love you. <laughs> but uh, secondly, just add a lot more Brussels sprouts to give bulk to your food. So, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Well, I think pretty good. What do you think? Eight out of ten. It's like an eighty percent bacon taco with salsa.